Hey YouTubers, may I have your attention please? Uh, welcome back to the uh, Wuffenberg Time Bomb channel. And uh, today is uh, some sort of, again, some premiere, some live witnessing. Um, first of all, we have a, now a output stage, once again on a test board, featuring these four beam power tetrodes, which are practically pentodes. And also a very interesting thing here, the phase inverter, uh, built out of a pento, so I would call it pentodyne. That's probably a new term I'm coining here. Pentodyne. So uh, this is a phase inverter is working. I, oops, I tried it out already. And uh, the output stage is uh, working. I tried that before, but I didn't try it with a guitar because uh, this. Uh, Pentodyne has only an amplification factor of 1, so it needs a pretty high signal to, to drive the tube. So I could just test it with my signal generator um, in terms of linearity and in terms of uh, that these the normal and the inverted signal are more or less uh, the same. Mm. And then we have here still this <laughs> preamp test circuit board. Uh, before I had this... Uh, stabilizer tube inside but I found out that this is pretty hard to control sometimes it swings on some frequency and it gives some uh, noise to the grid supply voltage so I removed it and at the moment I'm just running through a regular um, voltage divider yeah and now uh, the premiere and this is something I did not try out so far uh, now I connected my preamp board here with the cable to the output stage and that is again something I want to do as a live test in front of the camera. I want to first have these both things together. In car manufacturing I remember if you put the car and the body together it's called wedding so let's say an amplifier building we could also say this is a wedding be between these two parts and I'm quite excited what will happen. Uh, I tried the preamp it was working we still have a lot of um, a lot of ugly noises coming or a lot of um, oscillation tendency here on this tube and this is something I still have to fight but uh, beside that you see that the filament of the output tubes is already glowing so they are heated the thing is more or less in standby and I will with my variac I will slowly drive the uh, power supply the variac is in my famous test pult. So I will slowly drive up the the, um, the voltage, the plate voltage, and see if I can hear some sound on the speaker. It's this the whole thing is now connected again to my Marshall cabinet. Yeah, and I'm quite excited. Then I will hook up my guitar. Actually, it's already plugged in. But then we'll see the first time probably that that time bomb four with all the components I'm planning to use is then working. Well, actually not all of the components because the rectifier tube is not here. I'm using a silicon rectifier at the moment <coughs> and I still have to experiment with this um, voltage stabilizer. Not sure if I can use it or not. So, first step is then we switch on the power and we can watch here on this multimeter. We can see the voltage is rising. I will probably go somewhere to to uh, 220 volt, not more at the moment, just to be on the safe side. 107, uh -huh. okay, 140. I hear some little humming in the cabinet. That's a good sign. So far, 175. Let's give it a little rest for the moment. 205 volts. We have 400 milliamperes running. The grid voltage of the preamp tubes is at 94. That's fine. We'll just raise it until we have 105 volt grid voltage. Okay, 107. 107 is fine. 107. We have 107 now at the uh, grids of the preamp and let me just check the um, I'm running at the moment with a cathode bias resistor on the output stage in the final design that shall be changed against uh, that shall be changed against the fixed bias 
so and the bias value at the moment is 17 volt that is okay for this particular uh, power supply voltage okay and now I would just say we use the guitar then there is the signal pass here the master volume is that, that one at the moment it's in front of the tone stack the tone stack well let's see oh I'm so excited if anything will come out any kind of sound will come out uh, once again my pick is gone hallelujah I need to get a new pick. Okay. So, that is something I always <laughs> lose here in my workshop. Okay, so we just strumming a bit. I see some signal on the oscilloscope. Okay, and now let's raise master volume. Oh, I hear something. Yeah! Whoa! Something's coming out! Haha! <laughs> you can't you believe it? Fuck! It's coming! I can't, cannot even play loud because we have um, we have uh, it's it's uh, 11 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, believe it or not. Oops! The video got disconnected, so I start with the second one. Yeah! try the power button and the power button of my phone was jammed here in the tripod and that's why it started to switch off but once again I hear something cool I can't tell you how happy I am <laughs> like the overall sound it's big it's fat it's got oh it's got everything and if I try here wow this is a treble yeah very effective the bus working as well and then my scoop let's see ah, 
not so effective. Okay, never mind. I also have a bridge here for the torn stack, I can bypass it. Yeah, cool. Good, good overall tennis sound. Fat and a lot of overtones. Of course, I'm not overdriving the output stage only. I'm already overdriving this preamp section. That's why I also have this pentodyne. Pentodyne. Remember this word, pentodyne. This is a pentode face inverter here. I'm really <laughs> happy about it. Uh, not the cathodyne, but the pentodyne. Yeah, wow. Maximum cool thing. Um, so I'm, but that's why I'm. I'm not planning to overdrive the output stage. Uh, or let's say from the preamp I have more than 100 volts um, available at the tap so I can easily I could easily overdrive this one so I don't need a, a long tail phase inverter uh, to, to overdrive this uh, to, to, ex to give extra overdrive in the uh, phase inverter section so oh, there's even a little bit more gain how to riff Cartusha uh, after working so much on the amp. Now let's try a bit if we can do clean or whatever. Mm. Hmm. So I'm turning down the gain pretty much. I really forgot how to play anything at the moment because I'm so much concentrating here on this on this M. Naja, well I think for this crunch or, or blues I think you should rather overdrive the output stage. Uh, let's turn the gain down to really very small levels and then see if, if there's anything which could be considered as clean. No, oh, something. Something.
so let's say the obviously the operating points of the valves of the tubes are quite well uh, defined because even on these very low volumes the sound is quite okay of course it needs a bit of fine tuning uh, still and uh, to a certain extent it's because of this setup here is still pretty wild but all in all I can only say yeah mm, the output stage is working mm, at the moment probably with these voltages and with the um, cathode bias it will not have more than 10 watts or 20 watts in the final design I hope we will hit the 80 watts um, maybe even a bit more we'll see but if I think that I'm playing now at bedroom level Oh, more than bedroom level already and uh, on the volume pot I'm only on one and it goes to 10 so I have the feeling this thing can get really loud luckily I bought some um, some load resistors um, so that I can connect them I have a hundred watt load resistors and I will connect them um, sooner or later let me see one. Yeah, one of these big buddies. This one has already 100 watt, 15 ohms. I bought four of them, so I can even go to 400 watt if I use some parallel serial. So 400 watt should be enough. So I can really try out this uh, this power stage and uh, crank it then to the maximum. Yeah, and then when everything is done. Um, well, not when everything is done, but then finally the whole thing will go into a nice black mud chassis and then uh, the fun will start. <laughs> so this was about a live witnessing again about the wedding of uh, the amplifier. Uh, there were two interruptions in between because I was actually accidentally hitting the power button of my phone. Um, so I put all these, all these three <laughs> cut videos into one. But uh, thanks again for watching and next video will probably be when the, uh, the new chassis is uh, prepared. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.